we would have many application when user wants to join our application we want the validated data of the particular user that's why the form must be validated hi welcome to etech viral if you want to learn real app development and also want to grow your skills by building better faster and scalable apps with clean architecture and also want to provide a good service in freelancing sites so subscribe and hit the bell icon in this video we are going to learn how to validate flutter simple form we have this counter application already created let's remove all this boilerplate code from here remove it and again import flutter package material and the main method here we will call my app which will be a stateless widget that list widget my app and this will return material app here in the material app of home widget we will call our home page home page the home page also will be a stateless widget stateless widget home page and here this will return a scaffold a simple view of mobile and the body of the scaffold there will be a center widget in its child there will be a simple text hello just for the checking purpose let's how to start the application and check what happens yes we got the hello so let's start building the ui of this simple form application let's remove the center widget from here put a column because there will be two forms which will come vertically in the column text form field another text form field press control s to check the results we got two forms let's move them to the center main axis alignment of the column will be center yes we got them in the center so i want some padding here in the sides wrap this column widget with padding and this will be symmetric horizontally 10 let's check it yes we got padding here and let's make these forms outline border so in the here in the text form field widget the decoration will be input decoration and here the border will be outline input border copy it from here and paste it in the other form we got two forms having outline borders and i want some space between them so i will do simple like size box and its height will be 10 control s and save yes we got some space here and after this there will come a button of submitting a form So right down here after the form I will put some spacing here by putting the size box and a uh, container its width will be double dot infinity double dot infinity is simple of giving a full width of it and its height will be 25 not 25 but 30 and in the child there will be a center widget because i want the text in the center and the child it there will be text it will be submit for submitting a form its color will be colors dot amber press control s and check the results we got a beautiful button here let's also give it some rounded border so cut this colors and decoration will be box decoration here the color and the in the border radius border radius dot circular about 10 control s and check the results yes we got the rounded corners button here and and here in the form the hint text will be email and here this will be a password So we are going to validate the simple form application when this form is validated and we press the submit button this will navigate us to the welcome page. So let's see how we will do this. Let's let's wrap this column with the widget of form. This will require a key. 
so from where we will get this key for this we will convert this stateless widget to the stateful widget and here we will create a variable this will be of generic type global key is generic type will be form state because we are validating a form and this name will be form key f will be in small letters this will equal to global key form state and let's pass this form key in here form key so now let's validate this form so we are going to validate our forms here in the form field we have property or a widget validator it is of type string after this body we will check the condition for validating an email we have reg x pattern to validate an email so first let, let's put this pattern in the variable this will be static const and this is email reg x here we will check the condition if reg x and email reg x dot has match value so we will return nothing and in the else condition we will return email is not correctly formatted and why there is an error okay let's put this assertive operator here same like the email we are going to validate the password validator this is of string type value check the condition if value dot length is less than 5 so we will say return must be at least 6 characters and let's put assertive operator here and in the else condition we will return null okay that's great and when we press the submit button if this form is not validated so it will shows these errors and if it is validated so it will navigate us to the welcome page so let's first create also create the welcome page this will be a simple stateless widget and name will be welcome page this will return scaffold in the body there will be a center widget of child and text welcome this is a simple page we will navigate to this page when the form is validated so to make this submit button clickable we will wrap this container with a widget which will be inkwell and its widget on tap we will check the condition if the form key of form state dot current state dot validate if this is validated so this will navigate us to the welcome page navigator dot push the context will be the context and the route will be material page route the builder also take a context but we are not going to pass a context we will keep it like this and the arrow function this will return welcome page put semicolon here and put also a set of operator here and in the else condition we will return null so let's save this and check the output of this application how this works it's saying email is not correctly formatted and the password field is saying must be at least six characters but i think i forgot something there will be also a condition after this if we will check else if the value dot value is equal equal to null or value dot is empty so we will return field cannot be empty the same goes for the password paste this condition here and let's start to start the application again and now before passing the values here press the submit so this is showing must be at least six character this is because of the first condition is true here so we have to put this condition cut this condition and paste it here and check the condition the first one condition here value length is less than five so it will say the character must be at least six and here 
we will put the field cannot be empty and let's again how to start the application and check it again yes and that's good field cannot be empty and field cannot be empty so let's put some email here example at the red gmail.com submit and email is validated you can see here and one two three four we and now this condition is true we are seeing must be at least six characters and put five six but there is also a problem we are seeing the password so to hide the password here it have a property in the text form field obscure text it's boolean make it true and again how to start the application and check it type some email here example gmail.com and press that submit button field cannot be empty one two three four you can see now the password is hiding make it six seven and submit it and we are navigated to the welcome page and now we cannot go again to the uh, form page this is because we have not created the app bar here app bar again run the application put some email eee gmail.com and the password will be some dummy password navigate to this page welcome and we can go back again and back so if this video helps you a little bit so subscribe and hit the bell icon and see you in the next video